The installation of Subaru Impreza STI 6 speed Kotuk sequential gearbox was completed, and shakedown was done. My Kotuk sequential gearbox has optional care and fiber shift lever. This lever has a strain gauge. And also gear position sensor outputs voltage signal. These make it possible to defect the operation of the shift lever. And also Link AQ can receive these information and reflect it in the engine control. This makes it possible to achieve a flat shift. Now let make sense the effect of flat shift in Fuji Speedway and Sakuba Circuit TC2000. At first, bring to the Fuji Speedway racing course. A very large effect was observed here. Comparison will be made on Fuji Speedway's 1.4 km home straight. Up left is factory 6-speed transmission, and down right is Kotuk sequential gearbox. Synchronize on the final corner apex. Obviously, the vehicle speed increased more and more on flat shift by Kotuk sequential gearbox. A comparison with GPS data was also carried out. Flat shift is ahead of each shift up. As a result, the maximum speed is 259 km per hour, and the speed is 268 km per hour at the straight end 1.4 km ahead, which is 9 km per hour faster. There is a gain of 1.3 seconds in the time difference. And also, acceleration from first corner to the Coca-Cola corner and Advent corner to Dunlop corner have gains of 0.1 seconds and 0.6 seconds, respectively, and there seems to be a gain of 2 seconds per lap. In fact, the lap time of this time was also quite good. In the last sector of the attack lap, the pace slowed down due to vehicle trouble, but when measured from sector 3 before the attack, the pace is in the low 1 minute 45 seconds range. It was a pace that improved the best time so far by more than 2 seconds. Next, bring to the Sakuba Circuit TC2000. Comparison will be made on back straight of TC2000. Up left is normal shift, using clutch and accelerator pedal is released. And down right is no clutch and accelerator pedal flat out. Both are Kotuk sequential gearbox. Synchronize on the second hairpin corner apex. Obviously, the vehicle speed increased more and more on flat shift in this case too. In the GPS data, the flat shift precedes each shift change. As a result, 0.2 seconds of gain was confirmed in the back straight part due to the flat shift. Also, in other part, there is a difference every shift up, so it expected that there will be a more effect after one lap. Flat shift has been confirmed to be very effective. Thank you for watching till the end. Please subscribe my channel too.